You know, when it comes to painting, proper preparation of your work area and painting service is important to achieve the best results. In this video, I'll show you what you need to get your room and walls ready to paint and what supplies and tools you'll need to get the job done right. So let's go over some of the materials you'll need. First, you'll need some basic supplies such as sandpaper and a sanding block to rough up any shiny areas and smooth out any rough spots, spackle and a putty knife to fill in any small holes, caulk and a caulking gun to repair cracks in corners and around moldings, masking tape and paper to tape off glass and other fixtures, drop cloths and plastic sheeting to cover the floor, furniture, and other areas, and rags or wiping cloths. You also need some basic tools such as a screwdriver to remove outlet covers and a pair of pliers to remove artwork or picture nails and hooks from the wall. And don't forget, a ladder to reach those high places, especially if you have ceilings over eight feet tall. And don't forget about your safety. You need a dust mask to protect yourself from dust while sanding, some safety glasses to protect your eyes from paint splatter or other debris. You can find all these items at your neighborhood Dunn Edwards paint store. So be sure to pick them up along with your Dunn Edwards premium paint. And before you start, be sure to check out Dunn Edwards surface preparation and safety brochure for additional safety information which can be found at your neighborhood Dunn Edwards paint store or by visiting dunnedwards.com. Now clear the area before you begin. If it's not possible to get everything out of the room, move any large pieces to the center and cover them with plastic sheeting. To protect the floors, it's best to use canvas drop cloths versus plastic, which can cause you to slip and fall. Spread out as many 4x15 canvas runners as you need along all the walls. Next, remove anything hanging on the walls, such as artwork or pictures. Remove hooks or nails in the walls. Consider removing any window treatment mounts. Remove electrical cover plates and cover the outlets with tape. Well, now you're ready to prep your walls for paint. Consider lightly sanding all the walls using a pole sander or 220 grit or higher sandpaper. You want to concentrate on areas of the walls that have imperfections from previous jobs, such as paint streaks or runs. Next, be sure to patch any cracks and holes. Then, lightly sand your repairs to get a smooth surface for easy painting. Also, sand glossy areas such as molding trim or doors to provide a roughened surface for good paint adhesion. If you don't do this, you could run the risk of the paint peeling off very easily. After all the patching and sanding is complete, use a damp rag to wipe down all the surfaces and remove any of the dust. With all the dirt and dust removed, you're ready to caulk the corners and gaps between any moldings and walls. Well, lastly, Apply masking tape around trim, doors, and windows to avoid getting paint on them. Don't forget to run your finger along the edge to create a tight seal so the paint won't bleed under. This will also provide you with a clean, straight edge. Okay, well now you're ready to prime. 